Your three judges sitting at ringside to score this 10 round contest in the super lightweight division, a presentation of Mise au Jeu, Jean Gauthier, Guy Girard, and Jack Woodburn. L'arbitre du combat, referee in charge, Junior Padulo. D'abord, dans le coin rouge, portant la culotte blanche et rose, et pesant 141,2 livres. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, he's wearing white with a pink trim. He tipped the scale at 141,2 pounds. Il est invaincu en 12 combats, 12 victoires, 9 par KO. He is undefeated in 12 professional bouts with a perfect 12 victories, including nine big wins by knockout de Ciudad Obregón, Mexico, Misael Ficcioni Cabrera Urias. Son adversaire dans le coin bleu porte la culotte grise et blanche et pèse 142,8 livres. Across the ring, his opponent fights out of the blue corner. He's wearing gray trunks with white trim. Official weight, 142.8 pounds. En 23 combats, il a 20 victoires, 9 par KO et 1 verdict nil. His professional record stands at an impressive 20 victories, including 9 big wins by knockout and 1 draw in 23 bouts. Champion Canadien Junior Amateur 2008 de Montréal, Mathieu Cheetah Germain. Yep. Very interesting fight, this one, I think. Like you said, you know this guy right, from guys. Mexico would fight, but look. Everything look at the size here is difference. good. Everything here is good, okay? Protect yourself at all times. Protege todo el tiempo. Let's make it a good one. Shake hands. Go back to your corner. No. All right. Mm. Well, well, he did shake hands. hands. <laughs> yeah, he did it. <laughs> okay. This should make for a good fight. Yeah. Misha is ten years younger, two weeks taller. Oh, yeah. Only half an inch of uh, reach advantage for yeah. Urias. But as you could see, the rounds, the experience in rounds, that means he's got yes. 48 compared to 25. This fight is scheduled for 10 rounds in the super lightweight division. So let's see if the experience of Germain will play in his favor. Very good job for Mathieu. You gotta keep that job, keep this guy thinking of it. And Germain definitely more active. I'm surprised to, uh, not, to, not to see who he is trying to establish his job since he does have an advantage well, you know, size-wise. You know, it's, it's only the first 30 seconds of the fight, so uh, you know these guys got to be very careful. Nobody wants to get caught with anything, and they're just warming up. It's like a warm-up round. You know? mm -hmm. So as you could see, Matthew, you could see the experience, the difference in experience. He's using his job, setting this guy up. Misha looked like he's taking his time, waiting to land something. Couple of fights by Germain. Yeah, way more active by Germain. And it looks like Misha has got heavy hands. Both fights by the two boxers standing in the middle of the ring. Rias trying to go to the body with the jab. Mm. That's what you're talking about, those heavy hands. <coughs> He's throwing heavy, heavy, heavy shots. Nice jab. Nice jab on Matthew. Rias got caught sleeping by the jab a little bit. I'm surprised uh, you're not doing the, the, the job. Uh, 
Yeah, because yeah, he's not starry and he's not uh, he's looking for like a very serious opponent. Doesn't seem like it's his bread and butter though, so far. There's less than 30 seconds left to the first round. Oh, oh, good oh, 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 oh. And we saw Jamais leg buckle the bit. He's got heavy hands, he's got very heavy hands. Yeah, he gets that right away when he threw his first punches. In the round, I mean. Jamais got him, caught him with it right to the body, but it seems like Orias enjoyed it. I think Orias knows that he has a power advantage. He's got the power, but if he uh, if he tries to go to war with Matty, Matty's just gonna stay on the outside and try to keep picking him off like he did the, the first round. Maybe he did hurt him with that left hook a little bit, but uh, he's boxing a smart fight, uh, Matty. So you would give the first round to Jamal? Yeah, I'll give it yeah. to him. If you want to just a jab. Be interesting to see. That power from Rias uh, will be a factor. Because he wasn't as busy as Germain, but he did land the most powerful the heavier, punches. The heavier, yeah. the heavier shots, you can yeah. hear the blow. Yeah. The thump punch. Looks like we will get to see the replay. Jamais is in this corner with the Stefan Arouche, his trainer. Yeah. Round two. Let's see if Urias is going to be more active. It seems like he intends to, at least. Yeah, I was wondering if he was going to back up. He was going to put the first one next to him. He's got to keep moving his head and stay, stay composed. Rias is definitely more aggressive in this round so far. Gatsu's got to keep moving his head and stay, stay composed. Oh, Rias is definitely more aggressive in this round so far. That's a good look. That's a hope I think that hurt him because uh, he sure went to grab his legs right away. I did hurt him. Oh, boy, we have a fight. Do we have a fight already? He's not going forward like he did at the beginning of the round. No, no, he's not. No. There's been a change of plan after that, that left hook by Germain. And as you said, he's the most experienced fighter out of the two. He may not have as much as power as he has, but he's, I mean, we saw the advantage uh, compared to the number of rounds. He's got a back, yeah, he has 270 to 25. I think by round, if it goes to round four, I think by round four, Matt is going to start back this gap and break him down, you know? He doesn't get caught with one of these big shots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because clearly this round is not going the way Orias intended. So he started out like a crazy man. Yes, he did. Yeah. 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 This is a little dirty box yeah, yeah, by yeah, Jamais, yeah, but yeah, this, is <laughs> <laughs> this is not legal. Yeah. <laughs> it's not by. You know what? You, you get a little warning. Still bothers your opponent, I guess. Well, yeah, since I left this, left hook again, what? things have changed. Matthew, uh, Jermaine got to get just a little bit closer, you know, just he has to get a little bit closer because he's hitting a, a bit on the gloves. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I mean, I like, I, you see, like, those shots are missing, but to get closer and start downstairs and finish upstairs. We are using his job for once. We haven't seen that very often. Yeah, well, Matthew's not sticking around to get hit. No, exactly. He was against the rope. Yeah, was able to turn in. He's sticking around. He's not sticking around. Good right hand by Jamais. He's he needs to get just a little bit closer. Just. Interesting 
interesting round. Interesting round. Well, because we, we saw a little bit of the power that Julias has in the first round. And he started off strong. There it is. Until the left hook by Jean oh, yeah. This one. That was oh, the one yeah. that hurt him. Then everything changed. Everything changed you after that left hook. He says, you know what? This guy made me crack a little bit. Yeah. Let yeah. me have some respect. <laughs> Rios became a little bit, a lot more careful yeah, after that. Yeah. Because I don't think he felt the power of Germain in that first round. So he thought, okay, I've got the power advantage, which he does have, but he still has to be careful. He's got to be careful. He's got to be careful all the time. Yes. Yeah. Maybe he was he was overconfident after the first round, perhaps. I don't, I don't know, know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you know. Usually these guys they rely on their power. They hit you on the arm and the guy is back in the way and they think that you know. Smart side of the Smart uh, boxing smart. Yes, yes he is. A smart boxer, an experienced boxer also. So we'll see if that will give him the edge at the end of the fight. Round three. Rios goes hard for the body with the right hand. <laughs> this almost became some wrestling, a wrestling match for a second there. <laughs> Jamme picked him up, but he did put him down nicely. Let me find this here. Who would see the experience? Uh, he's throwing everything with bad intentions. Yeah, he's yeah, throwing with bad intentions, and you know, not, Jamme just keeps getting his head out of the way. And missing those shots, yeah. you, lose a lot of you lose a lot of energy. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It gets you tired. Yeah, good work. You got to go down the for the body. Yeah, that's what you do. You came back on top of the left foot. You took one to the body with uh, the, the jab. Sugar by round four, uh, Matthew's gonna start putting, turning up the heat on me. Well, this, this is what a fourth card that we're doing together. There's one thing I've learned if you say something, usually it, it comes well, into fruition. Well, at this, some point. this is what I'm, I'm, you know, I'm looking at the fight, and uh, Matthew is getting closer. And then, you know, uh, the first two rounds he didn't get on the inside and throw those shots to the body. Up. Now this round it started, so I took it by the fourth. Yeah, Rorias in a southpaw stance now. I think he's trying to, I was just going to say, I think he's trying to do a fishing job, but uh, no, he's not a fish that's going to bite at this point. Rorias remains as a southpaw so far. Incredible how low his hands are. That's it. He's still staying, staying as, as a left. Yes, he is. He's just popping that jab. It's like he's just flickering that jab. Yeah, there's nothing after it. That's yeah. the thing. You can't, you can't win just flipping and doing that kind of stuff. Uh, he, he threw a wild left that missed. Urias, that is. <laughs> you can't win this fight staying out there, not doing nothing. He's not doing much. Mm -hmm. yeah. See? Experience is just up top of the side of Looks like Ronaldo. Like Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, <laughs> it looks like Ronaldo, this uh, guy. <laughs> Would you give that, get that round, the I'll third round, I to Jean Bain also? I have to give it to him because he came out, uh, you know, and he, he did a few good shots. It's a close round, but the uh, rest is not doing much. Yeah. Especially since he decided to fight out of a south boss stance. He's not doing nothing from the left, left hand side. He's just been flickering that job and trying to throw that, that left hand, but not much else. So. I think if you would, if you would ask uh, Germain, you, you would love for Hurias to keep fighting out of southpaw stance uh, for the remaining of the fight. 
I want to see what happens when he gets hurt, this guy. And what's going to move? Because Matthew got to start putting the pressure on him and turn the heat up. Still coming to the softball. This is now round four. Now he's back to a, an orthodox thing. Now he's back to softball. Yeah. He's dancing in there. I think he's doing like a. This is all nice, but he's not really scoring any points. Matthew, 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 Matthew got to go to the body here when this guy's up. That's it. He's got to go down and up. He's a strong guy. Yes. Good left hand, but that, 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 that was blocked. Left hand to the body by the Uriasper. Landed on uh, Germain's elbow. I think he's gonna go back what they're working through from the first round, which is the jab. He's gotta go back to the jab. Yeah, you're right. He hasn't been using the jab. There he is. He's gotta start using this thing. When it's nothing works, the jab always works. When in doubt. <laughs> yeah, when in doubt, you gotta throw that jab. Yeah, there it is. Especially when the guy say, here's my face, hit it. <laughs> A good guy to the body that had him in Shots up. Yeah, that's what he's been doing so far this round. Oh, yeah. man. Yep. And I think this is what you, the beginning of what you talked about. You said after the first, the, the fourth round, maybe we would see. But he started mixing the shots up. Yeah, the experience of, of Germain take over. You think that's what we're seeing right now during this fourth round? Uh, uh, well, he's throwing, he's throwing a bit more uh, decisive. hasn't been yeah. really active. He's not active at all. He's not throwing any punches. He has his hands up. up. He's not letting them roll the hands. I mean, he's letting his hands. He's not hitting a clean, clean shot, but he's letting his hands up. Right. And he's, he has been using the job in that round in his past four rounds. Compared to Urias, even though he has a size advantage, I mean, that's one thing we've noticed right off the bat, yeah. is that he wasn't really using his job. So what's left now for him? That he uses hook is straight right. But straight right, but sometimes he's fighting for the most of the last two rounds. Yeah, yeah. left side. Yeah, he's fighting the softball. But that big right hand disappear when he does. Oh, right. Jab to the shoulder, jab to the shoulder, right to the body. Yeah, if he, go, he goes, yeah. if uh, Horia's fight. Out of a so the softball stance gotta, once again. Yeah. Gotta go to the body. Yeah. He comes out again in the softball. Let's see if he listens to me. Mm -hmm. He's looking for the, he's, Urias is looking for the one shot, the big shot. Urias is? Yeah, I yeah. think so. I think so. Against an experienced boxer like Germain, that, that opening may never come. Doesn't work. Hasn't worked for the past two rounds, that's for sure. So 
I just about to say that he hasn't been able to apply what Sifan Nagush, his trainer, asked him to do, but he finally did it by going to the body. He's on the rope, Silas is trying to catch him, but uh, Matthew's too smart to just slide out here and get out of here. Big ride by Jamel and He's trying to close the distance a bit, Amigas. He's trying to close the distance. He's getting closer. I really don't understand why Urias keeps fighting out of the south by stance. Yeah, his best moment in the fight is fighting right, as a right, right hander. Well, he's a natural right hander, but yeah. I don't know. Maybe he's well, there he is now, in the right hand stance. This is basically like he wasted the last three rounds fighting yeah. out of South West. He's not doing anything. Yeah. This has been the whole fight here. Yeah, and he's been fighting as an orthodox, too. No, Looks like he's been in a fight, so let's see if he can reduce some offense out of that southpaw stance, which he hasn't been able to do in most of the last three rounds. Right there, he was right there. Goes to the body and comes back on top of him. Yeah. It's a nice combination. He has looked like he's breathing and he's heavy. Good left hook. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good round by Mr. Yeah, Jamal. He's taking over at the end of the round. He started taking over, David. Well, it's been going like you said you thought it would go. Well, you said after the fourth round, Jamey should take over. That's what we're seeing right now. This was the fifth round, and there was no doubt that Jamey was in command. Let's a recap of the round. With that left hook, yeah. yeah. Was it clean? Nice. You see how nice the right hand goes through when the guy saw a bang right through. Round six now. Gets won by the referee. Again, Furious fighting out of the, the South Bus stance. should make him pay. You should go downstairs right away for the body and hurt this kid. His most powerful punches yeah, come for the right hand, hand, right yeah, hand stance. Yeah. Yeah. He's thrown some big shots this round. This uh, is the first round he's, thro he's thrown so many shots. But then he stops. Nice body work, nice body shot. Right. That was a nice body shot. Right. Uh, that was your name. Right. 
referee says that he slipped. But that wasn't a knockdown. But yes, as you said, that was a good right hand to the body. Right yeah, now. Nothing's got to keep. He's got to keep the pressure on this guy. He's got to keep the heat on him. Oh yeah, against the ropes. Inside that, you see, should rough this guy. This very dirty on the inside of the guys. I think should go back to the jab. The jab was always working for him. That's right. He hasn't been using that jab all that much on this one. Throw the double jab there. there, there. Good combination by Charmaine. He's able to mix it up a little bit by going to the power. Frustration. Yeah. Yeah. It's frustrating on both sides, but because when when he get when he goes inside him and he tries to work, the guy leans on him, ties him up, grab his arm, hit him behind the head. He's giving him a hairful in the corner. Yes, yeah, he is. Yeah. He's giving him a hairful over there. Yeah. Amongst what he said, he said, you know, keep the pressure, keep your hand up, and, and keep working in combinations. Yes, and go to the body when Urias has his hands up because he said there's some openings to the body. But now that's a good start to the seventh round by Urias. Referee asked that we wipe the Wait, wait, the corner, corner, yeah, there's a bit of water, water over there yeah. Yeah, after uh, it's in the corner of the ring, there's some water in the corner, and uh, it did slip. Well, that's not putting the pressure, it's coming forward now, I think he was behind. Yeah, he's fighting right-handed. What's beautiful about it is chin is way up in the air. Yes, that is, it is. Jermaine throws an over on right. He grabs him right away. He's ready to lose a point, though. It's, it's the second time that Rocky's won and he hit him. If it happens again, the third yeah, time, he's going to lose a point. In theory, yeah. Let's see if it happens or not. His trainer was telling him in the corner. Yeah, he's not going to the body now. The openings to the body are there. When he you know, used that high, high guard. He's not tired of that. He just keeps taking his foot off the gas. You know, he, threw, he, he had him on the ropes. He threw some combination. Now he's back out in the middle of the ring. And he has, it don't look like he wants a fight. He doesn't want to engage. But look, again. Push him off and work to the body. Oh! He got, hit, he got hit with a good hook. Lean on the button. It's 
Still seems to have a lot of energy, Germain. He's allowing, he's allowing Lucas to get back in the fight. So the corner seven, go to the body, work to the body. 30 seconds to go to the seventh round. That's a way to finish around. Ten more seconds to go. Big miss by Rios. That's what he has to do. He has so much respect for this guy. Don't forget about it. He's not going down stage. Mesdames et messieurs, <coughs> Group Yvon Michel et Pro Bellum vous rappellent le prochain événement le vendredi 29. Charles Connell. Yeah, he's from Cleveland, Ohio. 16 and 0 record. Yeah, this guy's good. He's an Olympian in 2016. He's 12 knockouts. He's going to be facing Abraham Ramirez. He's 19 and 9 with 8, 8 KOs. <laughs> and I wish that we're going to take him to school now. Now that's the eighth round. Yeah, eighth round, yeah, yeah. Is it the eighth? He says it. Is it the eighth? Is it the eighth? <laughs> is it the eighth? Yeah, to be sure. You've been in the corner before it happens. Yeah, yeah. You lose track of the round. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. But now, now Matthew, like, you know, the corner is telling he's got to, he's got to push the action. This, is, I think, this guy been here around once in, one, once in his career. So you know, this is, this is third, this is third to Matthew. This is where he knows, you know, you got to put the heat on this guy. Jamais has the experience, as he has experience wise and skills wise, I would say, because, you know, as much as a, a good athlete, oh yes, he is. He does have a lot in his toolbox. It's no, like, no, he does not. He does not. Wild, he swings wild, and he misses a lot of big shots. Mm -hmm. and, and Matthew just steps away from him all the time and moves his head. Matthew, that, that, he's got to go to the body. This guy's on the ropes. The body is there, yeah. All the time. With that high guard against the ropes. Back to the job. He has to go back to the job. He's got this guy run away all the time. Back, he has to go back to the job. I get the feeling if, that if Germain would open things up. If he would, pu if he would push the envelope a bit, this guy would quit. Yeah. It's a thing that I also have. He would either quit or Germain could uh, get a knockout. But I think he's a bit, ca he's a bit cautious, Germain, because uh, Ulas is still throwing big hard shots, you know? Mm -hmm. Of course, he's able to do this because uh, he hasn't been bang banged around to the body to zap his energy. Complaining that he got hit with the head. That was me. I tell him to hit him with the elbow next time. He doesn't want any of those shots. He's got to stay on this guy. He's got to stay on him all the time. He's like that. Still 45 seconds to go to the eighth round. Rias did a good job hiding off the ropes. But once again, it's, it's against the ropes. That's what Matthew's got to do. Bully this guy, push him around, bang him in the side now, hit him on the elbows. This one should go to the body too. Every time Ugas gets, Ugas gets so the ropes, he puts his hands up high. Yes, that's yeah, all he does. Everything yeah. is open at the bottom. Yes, oh, that was a wild overhand by Ugas. Oh, yeah, so there's a, some opening to the body. 
Another arm for Jermaine. And this is Masumak Dennis, who will be taking part in our main event for the WBC Continental American Super Lightweight Belt. Fight schedule for 10 rounds against Juan Rodriguez. We called this last fight also. Muslim. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. I remember that he wasn't fully satisfied with his performance, but yeah, he was coming off a long layoff. Yeah, this guy's so. fighting is uh, dangerous. He got 38, 32 and 8 with 28 knockouts. 32 wins in the distance four, four times. So this should be a test, obviously. Yeah. Ross Amber, he has Ross Amber in his corner. Yeah. Doing the tape job on his hands. So I think Ross also probably did some cuts. Yes, yes. I mean, he's known as being one of the best cut men. He's one of the best cut men in boxing. One of the best. He is a good cut man. He's also a good coach. Yeah, good man, Ross Amber. I don't think there's anyone who has anything bad to say about Ross. All right, round nine now. This is <coughs> this is new territories for uh, Lucas. I've never been this long before. I'm sure Jermaine knows that. So let's see if he could put his foot on the gas and go forward a bit and push the envelope a bit. Now he goes to the body with the jab. Comes back with the right hand. Right, come back. After going to the body with the jab. Korea thought that thought he was coming back with that, but yes. That's why you always say you have to go to the body because it pays yeah, off. Uh, the body pays off, especially when, especially when you're in the eight, nine, ten round, you know. Yeah. Not only it gets your opponent tired in the later rounds, but also it creates some opening on top. Yeah. It's mentally, it's more uh, mentally, it's, it's more difficult than anything else because you know you start losing your legs. Speaking of losing your leg, <laughs> there it is. That's how we set it up on the canvas, but obviously this wasn't a knockdown. Midpoint to the of the ninth round now. He's winning the fight, Jermaine, and he's being very careful. He's doing As he gets the ropes again, at least he had it. Just to see him go to the bottom. To the head too much. He's going to the head and uh, to the side of the head. He hasn't come around to the side to hit him on the side of the elbows or the hips. A jab to the body by Germain. Now Germain is going to go. It seemed like Germain, that's who Germain could, you know, he's winning the fight, clearly, yeah. I think, but it just seems he's very, very cautious. He's yes. winning cautiously. Yes. Yeah. Against an opponent, view. it's pretty limited still wide. That's a big right hand, though. But that's why Germain still has to be careful. Well, let's see what he does in the 10th and last round. Yeah, it could be dangerous for Germain, because as this you guy's said, he's gonna come out swinging because yeah. he knows behind. And he still has some power, some power. Uh, those shots. Okay. Let's go one more. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. 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 Look at that high guard. guard. That's what we're talking about. Once he, when the Boreas is against the ropes, his hands are like almost above his ears. Yeah. And the body, the entire ribs are showing. No, you got your combo, okay? 
That's why Stefan Larouche is telling him, he said he doesn't like to be against the rope. Yes, yes, he's too nice. Yeah. Yeah. So they should have told him from round five. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That is one minute about five. Well, let's see if Germain is, uh, is able to apply what his trainer Stefan Larouche told him. We are seeing that wild right hand. A lot of power behind that right hand. Okay, he's trying to land that shot. Yeah. Yeah. As you say, he knows he's behind. So he, he needs a knockout. He, he wants yeah, to win. Yeah. This is the only chance he's got to knock. Not Jermaine now, but uh, those big swings with Jermaine hands up high. So Jermaine should be making, taking his chances with his hand down. Something. Yeah, I was about to say, someone has to throw something. something yeah. Plus, we are was against the ropes. He is against the ropes again. Jermaine is much better than what we see. You know, you know, you know, he's, yeah. uh, he's not fighting a bad, bad fight, but uh, he's much better than this. I don't know if it's because this Ugas has, has too much power. Uh, you know, but doesn't want to take any chances. Because yeah, no chance, yeah, yeah. that, that's always yeah. easier for us to yeah, say yeah, since exactly. we're not feeling those yeah, punches. Exactly. Yeah. We're not we're in there. there. Yeah. We're not in there. You know? yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised at, by that the style of Warriors, considering the size. Yeah. You know? He wants to, he wants to make a slogan. Yes. Right. Even though he has it there, with the height. The reach oh, advantage. Yeah. Nice hook. We've got 45 seconds left. We've just got 45 seconds to, to see if we can land anything. Mm -hmm. And a big right hand, but he's fighting out of uh, the southpaw stance now, so. He hasn't been able to generate much power. Oh, yeah, that's yes. Right. His biggest weapon has been his right hand. As, a, as an orthodox boxer, though. I would, there's no way I would keep my hand that low, no, 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 no. Because this guy could still catch him. Mm. 10 seconds to go. That's it. Yeah. That's who Germain has his arm in the air, as he should, because it yeah. sure seems like he won this fight. I think Kuga zero, uh, zero is gone. Yeah. Now he's 12-1. Now he's 12-1. <laughs> yeah. Zero is gone. Maybe his ego is gone, too, a little bit. You said how confident he was during yeah, uh, the weigh-in yesterday. The way he was at the weigh-in yesterday, I figured he was going to kill Germain right there. <laughs> Yeah, but that's the thing about boxing. That's the funny thing about boxing. Doesn't matter how you look physically. Doesn't matter if you look intimidating about what you do in the ring. Who you are started off well until that left hook right there. Yeah, yeah. He was a lot more cautious after that. I'm surprised there was a lot of, a lot of tying up, you know, uh, falling on each other. Nice spray down over the top. This is where we see the skills of Germain, who are much more advanced than Urias. But Germain go to the body with the right hand, something that yourself and his trainer, Stefan Lahouche, would have loved to see, oh, to yeah. see more during the fight. Yeah, for me, the body, working to the body is one of the most important things in the game. And the opening were there. The opening were there all throughout the fight. Especially when Urias was against the ropes. Well, it 
low sack for Marcel Rojas. This will be the first loss of his professional career. And Mathieu Germain should move to 21, 2, and 1. Yeah. Very good sportsman. Like, it's not like last week when Javante Davis knocked out the other guy. The guy walked out of the ring. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but man. Listen, there was so much talk, trash yeah, talk going into the yeah. fight. No, you they, mean, they really didn't really like you, each, you each other. You mean Romero? Yeah, yeah. You know. Romero. D'abord, mesdames et messieurs, encore une fois, une bonne main d'applaudissement pour ces deux guerriers. Quel combat! Voici maintenant la décision des juges. At the end of 10 rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. I would give Le juge Gauthier remet une carte de 96-94. Judge Gauthier scores this contest 96-94. Le juge Girard, 97-93. Judge Girard scores it 97-93. Et le juge Woodburn remet une carte de 99-91. Judge Woodburn scores it 99-91. All in favor. Of the winner by unanimous decision, le gagnant par décision unanime, Mathieu G. Time Germain. Well, two judges had it closer than I thought. 96-94. Yes. I mean, I, I think Close. one Close. one judge saw it the way you did, scoring 91 to 91. 99 to 91, 91 yeah. I should say, yeah. I can't say I would give this guy even three rounds. Which three yeah. rounds did he win? I know. I agree with you. So it is a unanimous decision for Mathieu Germain out of Montreal. Again, Marcel Urias. Yep. Avec le gagnant du combat, Mathieu Germain. Quel combat pour les téléspectateurs, pour les spectateurs.